she goes in, the door's cracked. There's a guy in a suit over her phone putting a device in it. He screws the top on and runs out of the room past her. I, I mean, th- and, and then, of course, uh, you talked about what happened at your house. Tell folks about that again. Well, you know, we our, our phone, we had a system set up where, as the governor in your private home, they give you this red phone that even if it's knocked off the hook, it will ring automatically the local police, you know, who will come to running, which is a good idea. You know, you don't even have to speak into it. If the, if the phone is knocked off the hook, that, that sends a message right to the local police, and they're, they're coming. And uh, But when they installed that, uh, we always had weird clicking on my regular phones, and it was so bad it became laughable where my in-laws would automatically state, well, I guess if you're out there, we're talking again, you know, and that type of thing. And then when I ended being governor, uh, we found a little transformer-type thing out on my deck one day that a friend of mine said, who used to do that for the phone company when ordered to, said that that had something to do with, uh, you know, a listening-type device. And then uh, uh, the guys who came out to then rewire my phones back up after the red phone was taken out and all this other stuff, they came up just baffled. They said, we've never seen phone wiring like this in all the years we've worked on them. So that's all I can go on, Alex, is that it was a very strange situation, to say the least, my four years in office. Well, you know, you, you've told this story. We never got into much detail here. Can you briefly get back into one of your first days at work? You go to the Capitol, and there's 23 CIA people in your office, but they won't tell you who they are. They won't tell... Well, the- no, it, it, that's, that, no, they weren't in my office. They were in the well, Capitol well, basement. They were in yeah, they, they, they and, and let's put it in the right thing, they requested, quote, requested that I come down and interview with them. You know, I don't want to say they ordered me to because there was no one that said I had to, but I, being former military and, you know, new to the job, I felt that I guess this is my obligation if the CIA wants to talk to me and I'm the governor of the state of Minnesota, I certainly should talk to them. So I went down, uh, then that when it arrived, I went down into the bowels of the Capitol, into uh, this closed room, and I, I sat in a chair, and they were in a big half-moon circle around me, and uh, let me also say they were very professional, they were very uh, courteous, they always addressed me as my title, governor, you know, all the formalities were there. I guess the scariest thing about it, Alex, was this. As I looked around the room at these 23 people, I saw my neighbors. And what I mean by that is, you would never guess in your wildest dreams that these were CIA operatives, which is their job. So obviously they recruit and they do it very well because some of the people I looked at would look like the old retired guy down the street that would sweep his step. Others were younger people, others were professionals, others were blue collar they they came from with an entire cross section of what you would call america amazing and, and uh, so and and then of course uh, i was a little belligerent being who i am and i i said before i ask, answer any of your questions i have a few for you and i one of them was i asked them why they were operational within the united states when uh when their orders are and they're, that they're not to be operated. There's a federal law. It's a felony. Right. And, well, clearly that's, that law isn't enforced because they're entrenched in Minnesota government, and, and, as I talk about in my book. And what do they say but, to you? Well, they, they wouldn't, really. They avoided the question pretty much. And, and, you know, I said, your mission statement says you're not to be operational in the U.S. What are you doing here? You know, and then I said, I want to go around the room and I'd like for you to tell me your name and what you do. Well, I got about half and half on both. Half would tell me their names. I don't know if they were their real names or not. No way of verifying that. And half would say at all what they did. If they did tell me what they did, how would you know that was the truth? So how did it end? It It was much like when I went through SEER school, survival, escape, resistance, and evasion when I was a frogman. Well, when they interrogate you there, my actual rate was storekeeper, which is supply. So I would tell them I'm a storekeeper, I work in supply, I hand out blankets and requisition parts. Although I was actually a Navy SEAL, never worked in supply at all. 
but in those days you had to go up and rank with a regular Navy rate. And so I was a storekeeper. And, uh, and maybe that's the way it was, it is for these people too, that they don't, you know, they can make up and not actually do what they tell But didn't you say do. the I meeting basically ended there because they wouldn't uh, answer the questions? Oh, no, no, not, not at all. It didn't end there. They okay. took their questions, and, ama- and amazingly, all their questions dealt around how I got elected. They wanted to understand how you came out of left field. Yep. They, and that's their job. And it, It's like when I went home that day and I called my friend Dick Marcinko, you know, the creator of SEAL Team 6 and a 30-year Navy SEAL, and Dick dealt with the CIA a whole lot more than I ever did. And... Uh, and, uh, you know, I was only in the active duty four years. Dick was in their 30-some. And, and uh, so I called Dick to ask him about it, and he started laughing. And he said, well, I don't know exactly, but I can throw a guess out. And I said, well, your guess is going to be better than mine. Fire it. He said, they didn't see you coming. And he said, their job is to report trends. They want to find out, are there just going to be six more of these independent governors that might win? What's going on in the country? Because that's what their job is to do gather intelligence, present it to the government, so that the government can then make a determination and an educated movement on what they, how they want to react to it. Well, it's hard to believe, yeah, Governor, it's hard to believe that uh, we are already right up to the final segment, and I know you've got to go. Maybe I can twist your arm for five more minutes in the next hour, so we have time to take four or five calls on the other side. Plus, I want to get into the Austin events coming up and plug the book. We'll be back in three minutes. With Governor Jesse Ventura, I'm Alex Jones. Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com are our news website. Stay with us. As a parent, your biggest educated movement on what they, how they want to react to it. Well, it's That's hard to believe. Yeah, yeah, Governor, it's hard to believe that uh, we are already right up to the final segment. And I know you've got to go. Maybe I can push your arm for five more minutes in the next hour so we have time to take four or five calls on the other side. Plus, I want to get into the Austin events coming up and plug the book. We'll be back in three minutes with Governor Jesse Ventura. I'm Alex Jones. Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com are our news websites. Stay with us. As a parent, your biggest fear is getting a phone call that your child has been attacked or worse. With your child going to college or moving out on their own, it's important to keep these safety tips in mind. Teach them to be aware of their surroundings. Walk on well-lit paths with friends or students. Secure the windows and doors of their dorm room or apartment. Know how to reach campus security. Always tell someone where they're going and when to expect their return. And always carry a self-defense device. This important message is brought to you by Pepperspray.com. Pepperspray.com features a full line of products for college students like pepper spray and mace, as well as window locks for dorm rooms or apartments, personal alarms, stun guns, and nighttime safety items. Enter school in the coupon code box and receive 10% off your order. Go to Pepperspray.com. That's Pepperspray.com or call 800-908-9988. That's 800-908-9988. On September 11, 2001, along with hundreds of my fellow troops, I went to Ground Zero, and we knew what to do, or at least we thought we did. Truth Rising is a breakthrough 9-11 film that finally gives first responders a platform to tell their story. Whitman, EPA director, on the 18th made a statement that the air was safe to breathe. This film follows the growing momentum of 9-11 Truth as brave souls throughout the world take action against their global masters. He had his hand over the radio while he was getting a countdown. He takes his hand off and you hear three, two, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. This is an emergency transmission worldwide. Download Truth Rising at prisonplanet.tv and aggressively spread it worldwide or order the DVD at infowars.com. If we don't expose the government-sponsored terror, they're going to commit more acts and bring in martial law. Did you know that it's a documented fact 80% of all Americans and 85% of people around the world suffer from internal parasites and parasitic infection? You may be one of millions of people suffering from one of dozens of debilitating chronic diseases from these parasites and your doctor would never know it. In fact, clinically detected parasites account for only 1% of all cases. Don't continue to suffer from pain due to misdiagnosis. Now you can fight internal parasites, heavy metal poisoning, and high cholesterol.
declaring independence. They've laid their bodies down in a bloody war. For liberty for their descendants. Let me tell you, the best part about my job is that I get to see people really wake up to government-sponsored terror, to corruption, to so much, and to see people all over the planet waking up and to know that we are on the real cutting edge. And then I get to associate with people like Willie Nelson and Jesse Ventura and the former German defense minister, Andres von Bülow, and the Italian president. Former Italian president's gone public saying it's an inside job. People like Bill Christensen, CIA section chief in Berlin, who says it's an inside job, Bob Bear, who says it's an inside job on this show, the guy that made Syriana about CIA black op commander. You know, 